I've done all of this already on my villain account and I thought it would be interesting to do for like a stream on my hero account which is Troy and R here. I definitely want to show off the new update and kind of give my opinion on it while also kind of explain it for any new people who are just joining. Why is the text all the way over I, there? the monitor, am gathering the multiverse to face its greatest threat yet. We will need every ally we can get, even unexpected ones. Meet me aboard the House of Legends. If we look here, at the core of the episode will be the news, shared hero, and villain social club. I'll put the link to this article in the description so you can just read it yourself. Just a side note, both the Watchtower and Hall of Doom will remain intact. So basically, the new social hub, heroes and villains will be able to go inside. More gameplay they've added is called allies. So expand your combat potential with the new system, allies. Scour the universe for the most elite and iconic DC characters. Then enlist them as your allies. Doing so will allow you to summon them for assistance in battle. So at launch, the system will feature your characters including cyborg the flash zoom flashpoint wonder woman and more collect your favorites and level up your multiversal connection with them to unlock powerful abilities and passive buffs new ui revamped on duty with quick play this is probably one of the main reasons i think now is a good time to join dc universe online if you haven't already get playing faster with the new quick play feature in the on duty menu which i will show later daily login rewards are now a thing dr fate's daily rewards okay access changes for everyone free episodes standard daily login rewards at least 20 dollars in value when you log in at least 20 days per cycle full access to lair and utility belt systems cash cap has increased from 2000 to 50,000 you don't know how amazing that is to have a cap of 2000 is suck so much when the gear is worth a couple thousand dollars and you go to sell it and it just rots in your bank if you're not a member seven additional inventory slots lock boxes have been removed artifact xp items condensed to save inventory space for premium for members if you want to just read all this yourself i'm not a member or you know a premium player or whatever so there's actually no point in me like reading this so that's pretty much the end of that best way to look at it more is in the game. I'm not exactly sure how long this is going to be because I've never done something like this, but we're going to see. We got seven new inventory slots. The inventory is a little bit bigger, which is nice. Allies. This is the new allies tab. As you can see, I have none because I haven't done the missions yet, which we're going to be doing in a few minutes. So you can have two support allies and one combat ally. Together unbroken. I don't know how to say her name, but speak with her and learn of the ins and outs of the House of Legends. So we heard the monitor's message earlier. Open your map and use the warp menu to teleport to the House of Legends. So already coming into the base, you can see purple and blue names. So the way it works is if you're a hero, other blue names you see are other heroes. Any purple name you see is a villain. And it's the same vice versa. So if you're a villain, any blue names you see are villains. And the purple names are heroes. There's also a bunch of new in-game characters that are around the House of Legends. As we're flying around, I'll stop by and look at them. But as you can see, we have two guy gardeners here. We love more guy gardeners. Why not? And they're having a stare down. Here he is. We got Lobo right here. It ain't a party till the main man shows up. So the first thing I need to do is... Oh, right. I gotta use this thing. Heroes and villains, you must prepare for the trials to come. I am needed elsewhere. Harbinger, introduce our guests to Tempest Fugionaut and show them around my house of legends. On your orders. Start with Tempest Fugionaut, guardian of the Orrery of Worlds. Harbinger, that's how you say her name. We got two Lex Luthors over here. Cybernetic Lex Luthor and Space Commander Luthor. We got Lady Blackhawk and Forge Master Hawkman. Okay, that's interesting. The Flash from the Blue Lantern Corps. Very nice to see if you've read Blackest Night. But let's talk to Tempest Fudginata. I already forgot how to say his name. I open the way to important locations across time and space. For most of your journey, I will have the perfect equipment for you. I hope to see you often. Yeah, he's a vendor. So let's talk to Cobblepot's fence. The absolute highest tier equipment can be found on an assistant close to Tempest Fugionaut. I forgot you don't actually have to talk to them. You just have to walk up to them and Harbinger, Harbinger will speak to you. Next, we're going to the R&D station, which is over here with the Atom. Outgrown gear can be sold for cash or even better, salvaged into exobytes to boost your base stats at R&D stations like these. As you can see over here, we actually have Vandal Savage as a loyalty vendor. Let's use this, this main observation deck has more important features. John Constantine will help you power up artifacts. Booster Gold will help you stabilize quarks. And Dr. Fate offers daily rewards. Next, your mentors have hired a guide for you in the training area. They have assured me he is a consummate professional. So we got John Constantine over here as an artifact vendor. What can I say? I'm a bastard. 
Rip Hunter, Save the Universe vendor. And we got Ninja Batman from the Council of Batman. So next we need to talk to Deathstroke. And right here on the projectors, you can already see Deathstroke versus Nightwing. This is the training room. We have Nightwing down here. We got Wonder Woman as a Star Sapphire, another beautiful nod to Blackest Night. We got training dummies down there. General Lex Luthor from the Council of Lex Luthors. Lady Blackhawk from the Justice Society and Wildcat. Here we have a whole bunch of members of the Justice Society. We got Hawkman, Hawkgirl, Wonder Woman, Alan Scott, and Jay Garrick. We got Alexander Luthor and Steam Powered Batman. All right, but let's talk to Deathstroke. Hone your abilities here. Practice against the trainers or reset your skills via this interface. Learn to watch your back because nobody else will watch it for you. Certainly not your so-called mentors. Reminder, the monitor is interested in cooperation. We have one last place to visit before I leave you with allies. This is interesting. So since Nightwing and Deathstroke are here, I thought you had to talk to Deathstroke if you were a villain and talk to Nightwing if you were a hero. But no, on both ends you have to talk to Deathstroke. So here we have Ambush Bug in the Archive of Victory. Ambush Bug all up in your fourth wall. This room is for you nostalgists. We got old gear you can buy for the cool styles. Teleporters to places you'll maybe visit once a year. Unlocks for Legends Exobytes, the PvP system with some of DC's coolest characters that can always use more cannon fodder. These last two stops are perhaps the most important to the Monitor. First, Chang Zhu is an alien from Apocalypse who has agreed to behave. If you don't feel like flying around the whole House of Legends, you got teleporters to the foyer, to the teleportation hub, well obviously that's the teleportation hub, and to the main observation deck. We also have Superman, Future Lex Luthor, and Batman. And I see over here we have Lady Shiva as an arsenal vendor. Brother Blood is here too. Oh. The Monitor and I are lucky to have the assistance of Earth 512. I believe we are Earth 512. Calabac is here. Emerald Empress as a villainous magic vendor. Ursa as a villainous meta vendor. Evil Star as a villainous tech vendor. And Harley Quinn as a unique villainous style vendor. So obviously those are for the villain styles. Up here we got Lightning Lad and Static, which is very cool. Blue Vorth from the Blue Lantern Corps. Metamorpho as a heroic meta vendor. Star Sapphire Zatanna as a heroic magic vendor. I've never seen Zatanna as a Star Sapphire. <laughs> we have Nubia as a unique heroic style vendor and Red Tornado as a heroic tech vendor. Over here we have Power Girl for the Blue Lantern Corps and Zatanna. Mr. Miracle is up here, along with Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman from our Justice League. Even the most untrustworthy foes can work together to save the world, and even the most stringent heroes can make exceptions for the greater good. This is what we are counting on. Oh, down here, I forgot to mention it earlier, we also, whoops, we have the mail, bank, and broker like you normally would in, you know, the Watchtower or Hall of Doom. Next, we are talking to Shang Tzu, who is this ugly ass alien over here. No offense. Combat pets. Different functions, different power levels, all depending on what you need. And if you have any trouble, I can provide additional support. And finally, Cyborg is developing a method for more easily calling in allies. The tour is complete, but please, see Cyborg next. I crave protein. Please do not sleep. Can you chill out? Can I make you go away sooner? I cannot. Okay, well, don't talk while Cyborg's talking. Can you believe this place? Allies from all across time and space, and I've been working out a system to connect everyone. I started the ball rolling on a basic team for you when something ominous arrived. A batarang from the dark multiverse with your name, a location under Crime Alley, and instructions to come alone. It's obviously a trap, so if you do choose to go, please be careful. After fighting the Batman who laughs, you come over and talk to Cyborg again. I unfortunately don't have any footage of fighting the Batman who laughs. I accidentally left my away screen up, so I apologize. But you know what? Mm, no spoilers. You can go and fight the Batman who laughs yourself. But really, that's just kind of like a side mission to do so you can get your ally. It's not really important. Whew, that was too close for comfort. I'll set it up so your allies have your back reliably and figure out ways to strengthen your team. Check it out. And we complete, and we have, you see in the rewards, the ally oracle bot. So use ally oracle bot in your inventory. So you open your inventory and you see here, ally oracle bot not collected. And then you go down here to where it says allies, equip ally, and oracle. She's a one star bot. She's rare. Combat ability, wrist rockets, fires rocket barrage That's at a single target. You could fortify them. 
similar to how you fortify your artifacts. So all you have to do is grab your regens, throw them up to here, and click fortify. You could swap her for if you had another ally to your supports or any owned ones you have. You could also see the abilities. As you can see, we only have one, but you get a Tinker ability for Oracle, unlocked at Affinity level 3. And you can also read her bio. Origin Gotham City. I know what it's like to be alone in a scary situation. I do what I do so that nobody else has to feel alone. A powerful hacker and information broker, Oracle is responsible for connecting the world's heroes and giving them what they need to track down the bad guys, all while carefully safeguarding their secret identities. She says her own crime fighting days are behind her, but that she's always willing to send an Oracle bot to help. So Jade access your journal. As you can see, we get a rare alliance. Rare alliances are collected and used to level up your relationship with your ally, which you need after you max out the fortification. Now I'm going to show you guys a new on-duty menu. As you can see up here, it'll tell you what roles you can play as. I can play as a damage or controller role. When you queue into a on-duty mission, you can choose which role you want to do or if you want to do both of your roles. So Save the Universe is their current event going on right now. You could do solo, which is by yourself. Alerts is four player missions and raids is eight player missions. Duos is two player missions. Omnibus is the new feature to the game, which is pretty much classic runs to enjoy, raise a low combat rating, and unlock access to more content. So basically, Omnibus is random on-duty missions. So I can't do it because you need a combat rating of 30, meaning you need to beat the main storyline in order to do Omnibus. So if you go into a solo, as you can see, they have different tiers. So the lowest combat rating levels you can get and the highest. Custom play is pretty much you picking which ones you want to do. So this is basically the old version of the on-duty tab if you want loot from a specific on duty mission you would go to the tier it's in you would click it you would queue and you would set your status as ready to go the last thing i think i want to go over is actually showing you what oracle can do so i know the best place to do this is probably this way because this is where all the little bots are so we press r and oracle is summoned Okay, she went away really fast, but as you kind of saw the little bullets that she summoned. That's basically as we read earlier. Let me fight this guy. You kind of briefly saw that she fired her wrist rockets. The allies disappear really fast. I don't know if it's because that's your like first ally, so obviously they just do a little bit of damage and then go off. But I think they're better for like boss battles. So we got these little bugs right here. Press R. Um, Oracle. Are you gonna just... Okay, wait, let me shoot one of them. There you go, you see? She fights one... She shoots off two of her rockets and then kind of dips. I did forget to collect my daily reward. But yeah, basically, to open your daily rewards menu, just press F1 and it's literally the first thing here. Grant some rewards. Open daily rewards menu and you'll see your daily streak. If you're a member, you'll see which ones you'll get at the bottom. If you're a regular player, then you'll see which rewards you can get on the top. If you've already claimed them, it'll give you a little check mark on the bottom that says claimed. And these are the ones for the next days. So now I have 10 fate tokens. So the reason he's the daily rewards vendor. We serve the edicts of a great beings is you can use your fate tokens to buy pretty much anything here. The more fate tokens you have, the more stuff you can buy. That's pretty much that. I think I'm gonna switch over to my villain account real quick so I can show you guys what calculator looks like in battle. Oh, okay, so here I can show you. So once you beat the game, you will have main omnibus missions, which is weekly raids, weekly alerts, and daily solo or duo. Doing these, you'll get source marks and reward boxes. So I can show you what the on-duty menu looks like once you've beaten the game. So I already have on my villain account. Save the universe, the latest episodes, and the omnibus. My combat rating is 283, it tells you right here. So I can do any of the tiers and if I click start queue it'll put me in a random one also what I can do is you can actually unlock them and see which ones they'll put you in as you can see I can only go into the first three tiers tier four I can go into the iceberg lounge tier three I can go into any of these tier two all of these and for tier one all of those and it's the same thing for alerts duos and rates obviously it's random which ones you choose if you want to do a specific one again it's custom play and you just come over here whatever check mark queue and then you would do ready similar to how you would before so we're gonna go back to gotham real quick and i will show you guys what calculator looks like in action so he's a one star he's a rare combat ability assertion assault deals damage over time to enemies in the red ground targets let's read his bio origin location redacted you can't exploit a hero's weak points if you don't know what they are. That's where I come in. Calculator is an invaluable asset when it comes to gathering information and covering your tracks. His cut is well worth the pay, if at the very least to keep Oracle off your back. If you need him to cook more than your books, his calculator bots are always standing by to help. So, whoops. Press R. I think this will quit. 
So he does continuous damage to Raven if she stays inside the bubble. And then he leaves after a minute. And I think for using your ally in a fight, you get more ally favors, which is how you fortify them. Because I just got more right now. Between Oracle and Calculators, I think I like Calculator more because Oracle kind of just hits them twice and then leaves. While Calculator stays for a little bit longer and anyone in his bubble takes continuous damage. That's pretty much going to end my like opinion slash review of the newest update. I don't normally do videos like this, but I thought it would be interesting to do. Yeah, overall, I think this is a really good update to the game. I think this is a step to them kind of slowly updating all their features. It's really weird ending this on my villain account because I'm always on my hero account.